Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm back on the bike again in this video, folks. It's a Saturday morning right now, and it's the night after the young farmer's Friday night in Blackpool. So a very, very busy Friday night in Blackpool. Stick with me if you want to see what it's like in the town centre. I thought we'd take a look around the town centre and see what it's like. What's it like in Blackpool early on after a busy Friday night. Well, let's go and find out, shall we? Uh, young farmers are a little bit notorious. Have they made a mess? Are any of them still hanging around? Did they all make it back to the hotel? So you might have seen my video that I did in town and it was a bit manic. In fact, they're running warming up. So uh, let's go and see what it's like. We'll also take a little look at some buildings going up. There's a new car park going up up here. That's almost finished, that multi-storey car park. We'll check out that. There's also a cinema as well. I'll have a ride past that. So let's see what we can see. I'm just heading towards Central Drive. Look at that view of the town we've got from here. I'm on Grasmere Road at the moment. Just going past the library here on the left-hand side. We're coming on to Central Drive. Central Drive is a long road. And this section of it here where the shops are, a little bit, uh, it's got a bit of a name for itself because uh, it's quite run down, you know, so I've been down here quite a few times. So those of you that are used to my channel will know about Central Drive. This is where Central Station used to come into Blackpool. And I think when the train station was closed, and maybe that was when this part of Central Drive went into decline. But it's only really this section where all the shops are. The rest of Central Drive is not too bad. Lots of tasty. There are a lot of decent shops down here on the quiet, actually. There used to be a pub over there called the George Hotel. It was a, yeah, a really old pub. It was about 100 and, how old was it? 120 years old. And they had to knock it down because it was unsafe. The building was unsafe. Cracking view of the tower, by the way. There's a Revel bar on the left-hand side. Oh, that's a nice little place there. Nice little uh, pub. So yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, Kurdish barbers there. Quite a lot of uh, convenience stores. Porn brokers, two porn brokers either side. Got convenience stores here. I think Romanians and Albanians have kind of made a home around here. Lilo Charcoal. Yeah, so we're getting close to town, folks, and uh, just coming up to the junction with Palatine Road on the right-hand side, but let's give you a little look at Central Drive. Some, quite a few boarded-up shops. I think that one was... There was an incident there not too long ago, that one. Yeah, it's a very interesting road. OK, so here we go again. Some quite old buildings. That's like an old bank, that, isn't it? The cigarette... Waste Art Gallery. You do get the odd beer monster hanging around outside there at times. Just going past the King Edward pub, but we're now coming up to a section where there's something new up here. But look at these boarded up shops here on both sides. We've got the new multi story car park just to the side here. We'll check that out, shall we? I think that was a young farmer then. <laughs> Did he go home? There's the joke shop there, which is unfortunately closing down because they're building this new entertainment complex and that car park there is the first phase. Look at that, multi-storey car park. It's pretty much all finished, look at that. So I've just come into this car park here to show you around. There's the old police station over there, which is due to be demolished to make way for this entertainment complex. But I just thought I'd show you this, isn't it fancy? They've still got some panelling to do yet, but this is the new multi-storey car park, and uh, it's looking all right, isn't it? See there, I was talking about the train station, how the tram tracks used to come into Blackpool right here. Central Station, it closed in 1964. There's a picture there, just to give you an idea. I'll turn around and show you that view. So this is what's happening, folks, and this will hopefully I say hopefully regenerate some of this area, particularly this part of Central Drive. 
And there's that view again, looking towards the tower. So the tram tracks will have come in here, along here, and up there, Coral Island, is where the the building was, where the the station itself was. So that's a little look around here. I'm now going to carry on into town. And what we'll do, before we get towards where all the pubs and clubs are, we'll have a look at the new cinema complex. There's a new cinema. So let's go and check that out. It's on Coronation Street. I don't think Central Drive would be Central Drive without the odd tattoo parlour. Some more young farmers here, look. Maybe they never went home. A little look at Blackpool on a Saturday morning after a busy night. It's all quiet so far. All I can hear really is the seagulls. There's a the McDonald's over there. That's a nice building, by the way. It's the Edith Centre building. It's Art Deco. And that was the first McDonald's in Blackpool. If you look up towards the clock up there, you'll see there's like carvings of seagulls up there. So I'm just going to head up this way now, past the pound stretcher, which is closed down. This is Albert Road. Ooh, another young farmer. More young farmers, folks. Just going past the job centre here. Maybe these young farmers got back to the hotel early and they want to have a little walk out. There might be the odd ones that uh, never made it back. I mean, can you imagine going out and getting so leathered that you can't find your way back to where you're staying? I'm going to take a left here and we'll check out the cinema. It's just up here. If you want to see more of what's going on in Blackpool, you might want to follow Colin Seaside. He covers all this sort of stuff. Look at this. So we're just coming down the side of the Winter Gardens. It's a Hounds Hill Centre as well. This adjoins all that. Look at that there. They're getting on with it, aren't they? This is the Winter Gardens right here. Some more young farmers down there. So there's going to be a Wilco store here and a cinema. So here's a view of Blackpool Tower from the back. There's the multi-storey car park for the Hounds Hill. And this is the cinema here. This is the other side. They've actually cladded it in this really nice gold or copper clad in there. You can see more on Colin's video. And that's what it's going to be like there, folks. The biggest screen in the northwest. There you go. In Blackpool. Let's carry on, shall we? And we're going to head into the town centre where all the pubs and clubs are. We'll have a look around the, the, the areas that were really busy. This is the Marks and Spencers. The Marks and Spencers, uh, a bit tricky to get a wagon in there. I wouldn't fancy doing that myself, not when it's busy anyway. So we're just coming up to Church Street now. Here's a little look at Church Street. It's very, very quiet at the moment. Look at this. There was a fire down there at the nail bar. So. Let's carry on, shall we? Chinese buffet there, that was closed down not too long ago. It had a very poor rating. Just coming around the front of the, just going past the hive, by the way, the hive. The Hive coffee shop, very, very popular in Blackpool. This is St John's Square now. All very quiet so far. So it's in the new car park. We're in the new cinema. This is Abingdon Street. There's the old post office on the right hand side over there. I'm going to take a look down Burley Street here. So it looks okay so far. We haven't got right into the, the busy 
pub and club areas yet though. So we'll come down here and then we'll go through Talbot's Road, just going past the Compass Cafe. I did a review there with the map master, the Compass Cafe on Burley Street. Check it out, the breakfast there is absolutely awesome. This is brilliant, by the way, which we're going under. This, it's music and lights, projections. It's really good when you come down at night when it's all working. So I'll go on the cycle lane here. I can go the wrong way down the road if I go on the cycle lane. So this is Market Street and it was all very busy around here last night. I walked through here and it was madness. There was even someone on the deck over there outside Revolution. So what do you think? It actually looks pretty tidy, doesn't it? And what they do as well is the, the pubs and clubs, or most of them, put sawdust down. Can you see this sawdust? I think that's part of the, part of the, what they do with the young farmers. Probably makes them feel more at home, doesn't it? So down here, this little, it's like a little alleyway, isn't it? I think it's called Hill Street, got knobbies there. That'll have been pretty busy. And then we've got the mic on the left hand side, Blackpool's smallest pub. You can see signs of sawdust here as well, look. So come out from the promenade now. So that's where I just come out there, Hill Street. And uh, this is shenanigans. That was banging last night. And next door to that, we've got Yates's. I'm gonna take a look in Talbot Square. We'll take a right here, shall we? Okay, here we go into Talbot Square. Past the counter now, it's on the left. That was banging last night as well. More young farmers up early. And what we'll do now is we'll take a left, a left, 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 into the Strand. You could hardly move down here last night. Hardly move. But I'll tell you what though, it looks a bit tidier than I thought. Maybe not so tidy around here. <laughs> That is a bit of a mess at the back of the trilogy there. So this is where it was all going on last night. Queen Street. So I think you can see around here, they've still got a bit of a job on. Outside walkabout, look at that there, look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got the street sweeper up the road. So there you go, it looks like they're still on with this bit here, tidying up here. So there you go, the street sweepers got a bit of a job on this morning. Bar 19. It's always banging in bar 19. There's the sawdust there outside. Mystique, that's closed. Crazy horse, that's been closed as well. So, so I'll give you a bit of a look around Queen Street. It's actually not that bad really when you think about it. It could have been a lot worse. There's going to be a mess, isn't there, after a heavy night in Blackpool. So many people, especially around here outside Walkabout, but, you know, to be fair, it doesn't really look all that bad. I'm going to head up here now and we'll take a look at another part of town. So that was Talbot Square down there. This is a look down Abingdon Street towards the Winter Gardens there at the end. Take a little look up Talbot Road, shall we? We'll follow these tram tracks that are going to be taking the trams into the new station. Heron Foods got a delivery. I've never been in Heron Foods. Has anyone been in Heron Foods? Let me know in the comments. Mark Callis on the corner up here. Mark Callis was pretty quiet last night. That's a new tram station and hotel over there. Look at that there. Don't know when it's going to open though. More 
new stuff in Blackpool, but this is now Dixon Road. I did take a look along here last night. It's the Pride Village. New fish and chips up over there, the catch. Look at that there. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to end it there now, folks. A little ride around Blackpool. The night after the young farmers. Friday night. And uh, the big clean up, but not quite as bad as what it could have been. So there you go. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.